Hey guys, it's Alex here, yes, and I'm back on the computer with editing, and this is my second round of recording because my microphone has been a bitch and makes it like buzzing noise, I don't know how to fix it, but you know what, let's just move on, let's just get right into the video. Starting off in the NFL, we have Ndamuk Nsu signing with the Rams on a one year $14 million deal. After the Jets pulled out their offer of a multi-year contract with Sue, he decided it would be better if he goes to the Rams, which was a smart move, because now he gets to pair up with probably the best defensive player in the NFL. And Aaron Donald. I mean, that partnership will be deadly this season and make the Rams one of the best defenses in the league. Let me know what you guys think about that signing by the Rams. And now let's get to some NBA news, starting off with two players that declared for the NBA draft. The first one's coming from Missouri, as it's Michael Porter Jr. After playing only three games this year and having a back injury, he declares for the draft. He, after his back injury in the two games he played in the tournament, in the SEC tournament, he averaged 14 points and 9 rebounds. He is a projected top 10 pick. I think he's a fantastic player. I think he'll do well in the NBA. I think his size, his shot, his athleticism is very good in, for the league. And he's built for the pros. Why well, he should need to play in college basketball for the year. Because I haven't really done anything to him. But let me know what you guys think about him. And the second player that's, that declared isn't as good as Michael Porter. Isn't getting top 10. Or probably first round. Or second round. And that is Leandro Ball. He just declared for the NBA draft. More than likely, he will be a late second round pick if or undrafted rookie, which more than likely will be the case. In Lithuania, you have to understand there's two types of leagues they play in. The league that you see most of the highlights from both balls is from the big baller tournament, which is just a bunch of teenagers playing, and that's why he's done so well. There's the actual Lithuania Pro League, which they haven't really made, you haven't really seen highlights from that. And the highlights, or like what the points were, they was not averaging, they weren't that impressive. I don't think, I think it's, I don't know. I actually don't know if he's going to do, if he's going to get signed to a team. Maybe a team will go there just to sign him or to get the immediate attention. But I don't know if he's talented enough. I mean, it'll be interesting to see. Let me know what team would actually try to get him. I don't know yet. And well, even though that's a little bit of an iffy situation, especially with the Royal Brawl. We have some other NBA news, which came out of nowhere, and it was very surprising, but it was good to see. And as Mark Hill Fultz returned last night against the Nuggets in their win. It came out of nowhere. It came the day of that he was healthy and will be returning, playing only 14 minutes. He had two different times he was on the court. Six minutes of his 14 minutes was the, like the first quarter, and the fourth quarter he had eight minutes he played in. And well, both those two quarters really separate what his game was like. The first six minutes, he only had two points and three assists. He went one for four, had like two turnovers. He didn't look good. He looked rusty, which makes sense because he's been out six in like October. Well, the th fourth quarter where he did most of his work, he ended up with 10 points, eight assists, and four rebounds, which is very good, especially in 14 minutes. And that's where you see his potential, why he was a first-round pick. And as a 76ers fan, you should be very excited, especially how this could help you in the playoff push. Do I think he will be starting? No. I think Ben Simmons is a lot better than him. But it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the future now if he remains healthy and his shot gets better and better back to what was normal. And let me know what you guys think about that. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and peace.